Hi, today we are going to explore how you can use your iPhone as a set of inputs for a machine learning system. For this demo, we will use Tramontana that I developed and Wikinator that is a toolkit for machine learning developed for artists and designers. Let's go ahead and open Wikinator. Now we are ready also to open Tramontana. So to make the two communicate, the first thing we need to do is to understand which is our IP address on our computer. In my case it's 192.168.1.13. On my iPhone there is a Wikinator icon that I'm going to tap and this brings up a panel that has two sections. One is attitude and one is touch. The touch streams the touch information from my touch screen to Wikinator, while the attitude is recording the motion of your phone and streaming that to Wikinator. So for the purpose of this demo, we will use touch. So in the touch section of Wikinator on Tramontana, there are three text inputs. One is the IP address. Go ahead and change it to your computer's IP address. Then there is a port section, match Wikinator's port with your iPhone's port. And the last, the last text input is fingers. Is the maximum number of fingers that will be taken track from Tramontana and sent to Wikinator. This is a very important number because it defines the number of inputs for Wikinator. In this case we have five fingers and we need to match that number with the number of inputs in Wikinator. So it's counterintuitive, but we will need to double the number of fingers, so it's 10 plus 1, so it's 11. So, with a, uh, so if the, let's say if the fingers were 3, we will have 6 plus 1, 7. In our case, we have 5, so we have double that number, so 10 plus 1, 11. The type of output that we want from Wikinator is a dynamic time warping and we want probably four gesture types. So click next. So now we are ready to start broadcasting from the iPhone to Wikinator. So to do that is really simple. Just press broadcast touch to OSC and immediately you will see the OSC in in Wikinator turning green. So now it's time to close the startup panels in Tramontana and start recording samples for your gesture. The first gesture is going to be just an empty gesture with nothing is happening on your phone. The second gesture is going to be a two finger slide left to right. I'm going to record multiple samples and the third gesture is going to be a two finger slide right to left. While the last gesture is going to be just a double tap. Now you will see that there is a certain degree of match between the gestures that we recorded and whatever gesture you are doing on your phone. So I'm going to lower the match threshold so if you see if I'm doing a left to right it's gonna be the third output if I'm gonna do a right to left it's gonna be the second output if I'm gonna do a double tap it's gonna be the last one so I prepared a small processing sketch to take the outputs that are coming from Wikinator and use them to change the content dynamically on the phone using Tramontana so in this case, if I'm doing in the two finger, two finger slide, so the third gesture, I'm gonna play one video. If I'm gonna do the two finger slide, I'm gonna play another video. And the double tap is gonna clear the iPhone. So I'm gonna show it again. The uh, slide left to right is gonna play one video right to left is going to play another video double tap is going to clear the iPhone 
I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'm looking forward to see what you will do with Tramontana.